This is a First Coast News election update. We want to thank you for staying with us for our Beyond the Ballot Election Day coverage. We sure do. We are here to keep you updated as the results come in tonight, and we're going to check in with our team. We have reporters all across Florida. We'll check in with them in just a moment. But first, we need to continue talking about the weather because, of course, you know we are tracking Nicole at this hour. Let's send it right over to Chief Meteorologist Tim Deegan with the latest on Nicole's track and the impact we could see here on the First Coast. Tim? All right, for those of you that were with us yesterday, you remember or may remember that initially it was called subtropical storm Nicole forming within a nor'easter and called subtropical because it was getting as much of its energy from about the jet stream as opposed to just the warm waters, but then made that transition to a purely tropical system. And we thought once that would happen, it would begin to turn to the west and to the southwest. In other words, instead of recurving like you would expect if you just were using climatology, it is not. It is now making a beeline toward the Bahamas and eventually Florida and to Georgia, and it is intensifying. In fact, the pressure, Recon just found this, Hurricane Hunters, 984 millibars, that will support a hurricane. Uh, so it's just a matter of time, I think, before the winds come up. So Tropical Storm Nicole is also going to go along, I think, as forecast and become a Category 1 hurricane. We don't think it's going to become stronger than a Category 1 hurricane, but it could become a Category 1 hurricane overnight tonight, then during the day tomorrow hitting the Bahamas, and then it's going to start a recurvature. In other words, tonight going west-southwest, if you were to draw that line straight, you would take it straight to Miami. But then later tomorrow, then it's going to start recurving again. And the big question is, will it just slowly recurve, or will it more rapidly recurve? If it more would move more rapidly off to the northwest, that would be even worse for us. We'll talk about the uncertainty and some of the more recent models that have come in. For now, here are the headlines. We'll break it down for you in just a few moments.